Okay, so I uh, had some time this week, so started sanding this uh, dope bike ride. As you can see, it's raining. Uh, plus, everywhere I had to be this week, uh, basically, I've had to take in the car because I had to pick something up or somebody up or you know something like that. So, uh, so I had taken a little time, took the hubcaps off. They're actually in pretty good shape. Uh, the back ones, however, were rusty as all get out. Looked like a lot of surface rust, so I took some Rust-Oleum uh, Rust uh, Converter, I think it's called. Anyway, it's supposed to neutralize the rust that's there and keep it from rusting again, but you got to let it dry for four hours. So. Uh, this is sanded down. Uh, i got to clean up a little bit more up here, but otherwise it's good to go. Um, uh, so I'll be priming that. The uh, I'm still waiting on this, uh, mainly because at $67, it's a money issue. Um, so I've got uh, I got to get one of those, then I can put the motor back together. Uh, I did pick up this coil as, as I mentioned before. The problem is, is I don't know. Problem is, is I don't know if this is a point uh, coil that requires points or not it doesn't say so I don't know how to tell because this one didn't need points this is the old one that I suspect is bad test bad so um, so I don't know how you tell um, but I'll have to uh, try and figure that out the, the points and stuff are there I mean I could use them I'd rather not if I can avoid it um, and then uh, this uh, so I got the carb ready to take apart here. Um, I'm gonna clean this up. I've got some dip over. Where did I put it? Son of a gun! Ah, over there. <laughs> so I'll be putting in the carburetor dip. Uh, also, uh, I got all the parts laid out and cleaned up. Uh, I did get the hardener. So it was on sale on uh, Amazon for just a few bucks, and it was a prime out of, uh, thing, so it was free shipping. Uh, I got the paint for the orange. It's going to be a brighter orange than this, but not by a whole lot, I'm hoping. Because um, I'm, I'm not going for a complete restore here, right? I'm just trying to clean it up, make it look good, and in the process, fix the problems, the little problems that it has. Uh, there's a leak in one of the hydraulic lines, the motor, which we knew about, uh, the key, the ignition switch. I need a new ignition switch. So I'm going to go up to the local tractor supply place and see if they can set me up with a new one of those so I get the right one this time. Uh, I'm going to take the rims off, paint them, clean them off. They're starting to rust in spots. So. Um, the frame. Uh, I'm going to get some might just get some more of the enamel in uh, black and uh, use the hardener. It depends on how much hardener I use for the for the uh, body parts. This is going to be a nightmare. I'm not looking forward to this at all. I've also got a lot of slack here. So let me see if I can take that out. The other thing I did was straighten the wheels out. They were like this. They are now more centered. Um, that jack's not really holding it up right now. I've got, um, I don't think it is. Yeah, see, it's not. So it should be sitting on its own axle now. Uh, I want to grease and oil and, you know, basically just do the stuff that should have been done to it but hasn't been. So anyway, I'm going to go get started on the carburetor. Um, that actually, uh, I've got like an hour to kill here because uh, what I was supposed to do this morning got canceled because of the uh, because of the weather. So, uh, so all I'm going to do right now is just take this apart and put it in the parts cleaner and let it sit there. And I've got this little tray here, so I don't lose any parts. Um, I don't really, doesn't really need to be cleaned, but uh, since I got to take it apart to get that goofy gray gasket material off, I might as well. 
Uh, I'm wearing my glasses, uh, my recording glasses, so hopefully uh, some of this is getting picked up. I'll have to use something to get that off of there. And I'm going to need a straight screwdriver for that. Oh, let's try this one. And I might replace these flat blade screws with some Allen screws or something. Just since I can do it and it won't interfere with anything. I'm just trying to make everything uh, um, have Allen screws as much as possible just because it just makes life easier. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to get this separated. This gray stuff they used is... <laughs> I swear, if it's not a glue, I'd be surprised. But it's some sort of silicone sealant, but it also has some sort of glue like properties. And I hate when people do this. Just, you know, use the gasket. Pay the, you know, $20, whatever it is, for the rebuilt kit and use the gasket. These were designed to be used with a gasket. I wonder if the thing leaks. <coughs> so, I'm not sure if any of this is going to come out because, again, I'm, it's hard to gauge where the camera lens is and how much of it, uh, you know, because what I'm seeing with my eyes doesn't necessarily, I'm seeing some of them, only two have washers. Well, that's nice. Yep, that's what I thought. Under like glue. Take this up and clean this up. Oh, it's pretty gooky in there. Alright, so that's kind of going to parts cleaner. There's no gasket, there should be, I believe, a paper one there. Oh man. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to fight with this and I uh, guess I'll come back at some point <laughs> um, when I have it figured out. Okay, so I did get it to come off with this. <laughs> Had to Pound, tap it a few times and it did come off. Got the rest of it apart. The gasket, of course, was glued on. I don't, I don't understand what they do with that. I don't know if you can see it, but the jet in here is all boogered up. Whoever put it in tried to do use a regular screwdriver in there and tighten it down, and then they cranked on it. Didn't do it right. So I'm either going to have to drill that out and that's a nightmare um, and then try and find a replacement or and I'm just kind of leaning this way is leave it in here and uh, just keep using the uh, gas on the valve so they had been in here before and replaced the, the flow it comes with a brass one or the other when it was made, so somebody at some point replaced it with a plastic one, which is fine. But you can see the glue got all in here, and see how powdery that is, and it's bad. It's hard to believe any gas flowed in here. No wonder I had problems with it, and having to run with the choke wide open, or completely closed and stuff. I thought it was just because it was cold out, but no, apparently not. Alright, in it goes. Get clean. I got running to do, so when I come back, take it out, and uh, see how it is then, I guess. It's not much to clean, you know, but there are a few passageways, and specifically this thing, this jet. Oh well.
so close. Okay, so just looking at the contents, um, it actually comes with the jets and everything. Even a new uh, um, pivot arm for the uh, float and uh, the needle valve spring. They actually give you two needle valves, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure out which one. And a little rubber washer. I have to figure out what's, where that goes. I don't think it's for this model. They give you a Welsh plug, which is cool, but uh, don't need it right now. That one. I, I have no reason to go in and do anything with the choke. It seems to be working fine. So I'll save that for a future. Gives me that gasket, that gasket, which I needed. This gasket I ordered because I need this. This goes between the intake manifold and the engine block because I'm going to take the uh, intake off, uh, manifold off, and clean it. And maybe polish it up if I've got time. No idea what this is for. I'm guessing this is for a different carburetor that has nothing to do with this. Float, how to level the float, which is cool. I needed that. And then uh, the needle seat information. So, all very cool. So yeah, I was, wasn't was expecting this. I, was, I knew this stuff was there, but was not expecting that. So that works out well. So back to it. Okay, about an hour, hour and a half later. This is the stuff I used. I don't know. Supposedly, seems to be working. I see some. This was all brown, rusty brown. So, the fact that I can see a little metal here says it's doing something. So I'll have some more time to dry a couple more hours. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'd like to have these refinished, but no money in the budget for that, but maybe I will. Oh, hi. <laughs> maybe I'll still have it done. I don't know. These these two are fine. The front ones. The rear ones are a little pitted, so we'll see. Okay, so this stuff seems to work pretty good. You couldn't see any metal before. It was all just rust. And now you can at least see some metal and the stuff's on there pretty good, and it says you can paint over it. I'm not going to, obviously, but it's good to know. Picked up this today. Uh, I'll clean it up. It'll come in handy on a few things. The guy uh, had it in his shed and didn't need it for anything, so I said, I'll take it. Uh, so I cleaned this in the parts cleaner, the carb cleaner, uh, can of carb cleaner. Problem is, is uh, it didn't really work so good. That carb cleaner um, had been it's been around for about five years, and uh, it had the consistency of motor oil and smelled like gear lube. So <laughs> obviously, it didn't work. So I used a can of carb cleaner to clean that up and get rid of the um, uh, the old gasket that was on here, and um, used a smooth surface and some sandpaper, some real fine sandpaper just to kind of flatten that out because it was cupped a little bit, but not anymore now. So Then uh, same here, just cleaned it out with carb cleaner. And I actually took a little sandpaper in here to get rid of uh, as much of the whatever that goo was that they used, uh, but those will get cleaned up and painted. Uh, that's the old one, but I'll work on that. Okay, so no turning back now. Uh, not happy with this uh, primer, but I, I knew it was crap when I put it on here. It was just a. Because I sanded it down, I didn't want it to rust. Um, the reality is, uh, the garage is pretty dry. I, I always have the air on, so it, uh, the humidity is very low in here. But I did not want to take the chance, so I went ahead and hit it with the cheapest. Uh, primer I have so that I can sand it down again and kind of see where the high spots are and try and decide then if I want to do anything about it. But uh, yeah, so that's where it's at.
Okay, so uh, this is my old camera. Uh, I find if I put it on 720p, it seems to work fine. Um, the uh, if I put it on 1080, it just freaks out. So I think the chip that handles the codex is kind of wonky. Uh, anyway, so that said, I had a little bit of a mail call, which I wasn't expecting from Adventures with Bash. Uh, he saw the last mail call I did and said, hey, he's got one of my old stickers. Let's get him a new one. Um, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I might not be able to. Okay, hang on a sec. So, I removed his old sticker, and we're going to put the new one right there. There you go. Adventures with Batch. I'll have a link in the description. Check him out. If uh, you like moto vlogs, he's pretty cool, and he's funny, and he rides around on his Triumph, and uh, I don't know. I just, I find him amusing. So, he's worth checking out. Give him a, give him a, uh, a look. See, see if you want to subscribe to him. So. Thanks, Bash.